I think that offers more entertainment value. What? Hammer? Yeah. Caught a couple of mice. On it. Yep. But it wasn't, uh, it was just some leaves. How the hell the leaves get in there? I don't think the S40 has a, um, no screen. You don't have a cabin air filter. No. No. And uh, you can't get where the intake is. Yep. It's inside that, that plenum oh, cover. And thing, you yeah. can't get in there to put a screen on it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that Mikey's here. That's probably good enough for this, ain't it? Yeah, that's where that thermostat was sitting on that. Yeah. It's probably up in here a little bit. Mm. Probably been that way for years. Probably. We only dropped one washer so far down in the bilge. We managed uh, to find it, and then it turns out it's one we didn't need anyways. <laughs> you throw it back? No. I throw it. No, no, I think Mike, think of all the people who have never seen the inside of one of these pumps before. Ooh. <coughs> yeah, it was real thin, see it? Real what? Paper thin. Which ship Ble part? Bleeping paper thin, how's that? <laughs> no, you could do what you, I, 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 I have the file on my desktop whenever I need it. Is this actually record? Yep. Oh. Now through the magic of doing everything off camera, uh, we've got a really nice surprise here. So first off, you have to take my word for it. There's no, no leaks pouring out of those covers. And then, look at that. And there on the right, you can see one of the tubes that goes down. In an earlier video, I was underneath that tube getting the, uh, the little funnel reinstalled. Um, so there's about 300 gallons down in the sump now and so the plan will be uh, we're going to pick oil back up out of that sump and we're going to tap into somewhere on the on the lubricating system and then we're going to push oil through the oil system uh, using probably a gear pump and we're gonna keep an eye on the gauges to make sure that it builds up pressure. Uh, and then we'll you know, give it a little bit of a turn. We're gonna see if it wants to move, make sure nothing's bound up. Um, and that'll be, that's coming up. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you get subscribed. Be a shame to miss it. So this giant thing right here uh, is the main oil filter for this engine back here. 
and so uh, rather than just drain it out the bottom I would much rather uh, take the top off clean it out you know manually and if I've got extra filters I'll absolutely put filters in and we've got tons of filters that go to the 8 cylinder um, I think they're the same thing in the 16 there's, there's more of them uh, but we're gonna find out together right now before we look at that let's take a look at the lid um, I don't know maybe half in a little less uh, maybe we just have all this uh, angle iron on there now let's take a look at here it, we all knew it wasn't going to be pretty so. So let's uh, get that hung on there. Alright, so this is a, a nice gentle sludge. And there's our filters. Let's get this guy out of here. that needs to get cleaned everything needs to come out and get cleaned but um so you see see I don't like this is why you don't want water in there you know um, just to focus uh, that's broken you know I see some of these have really big springs some of them have very small springs. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a dirty bucket and take all of these out. And uh, any of these uh, spring-loaded caps that I cannot salvage, I am going to pull them out of one of the engines in the forward engine room. Um, I mean, I can check the one that's over there near the hull, but. Um, yeah, I'm a. This is pretty gross, and I also need to go and grab uh, one of the filters to check if it's the right size. So you'll be back soon. So let's go ahead and you know we remove this cap here. Come on. This one looks to be in pretty good shape. I don't see any rust on it. There it is. So we'll get that cleaned up. What we're attached to. So here is dirty filter. This thing was probably last changed in the eighties or so. Okay, here's that. Final look at it. And here's a new one. <laughs> um, so this looks great. And I hope it does because it's new in box. Well, new out of box now. Um, and, see, look at that. These guys are the same size. Which means I've got enough filters to do a full oil filter change on this engine. So that's enough for the good news. We're going to get back to work now. This is just this is just a pile of springs, well, spring pieces, and I should note it's not just one filter per slot. These go these sit down on these rods here, and they're too deep. So. Heck, maybe even three deep. Um, but we will see. We will see. 